Lynn. How are you? I'm great. I'm great. <laughs> so I'm Lynn Katzman, and I just arrived here in Santa Barbara, and I am so thrilled that the first person I got to see is you, Lori oh, Alper. You, you are the best. So Lori has, well, why don't you introduce yourself? Uh, well, I mean, geez, I'm Lori Alford with Avanti Senior Living, and um, I'm happy to be at the Senior Housing Innovation Forum, one of my favorites throughout the year, and uh, more importantly, just happy to be here with you. Cool, cool. So I guess I should say what I do. So I'm with Juniper Communities and have been for 30 years. A little bit more. 30 young. 30 young years. And uh, now I've started the Perennial Consortium. So we're branching off, and here I am at the very young age of 62 thinking about building another business. But that's all for another story. So, Lori, tell me, what's on your mind today? Um, well, it seems recently, mom guilt. Mom so, guilt. Yes, and so what a great person to talk to as someone that's mm. created a company and now maybe venturing on to company number two, but you were a single mom. I with, was. Raised a son. Who I did. Is, is something to be very proud of because I know him personally. He's a great young man. And so certainly you had your own struggles with mom guilt and what a great person to seek advice with. I did. You know, kids are better. In the end, getting once you've come through and you see them on the other side, as I can see my son now, I realize that all that I put him through, and I'll tell you a little bit about that in a minute, um, didn't hurt him. In mm -hmm. fact, it made him stronger, mm -hmm. made him a more thoughtful uh, individual who knows how to get what he needs mm -hmm. in other ways. And he's resourceful, so I, I think it's all good. But mom guilt doesn't go away just because you know that at the other end yeah. it's going to be okay. Yeah, it's tough. Like, um, just leaving to come here today, yeah. um, or actually last night, my kids um, were like, Mommy, don't leave. Why can't you have the meeting come to you? Why can't you call into the meeting? And in theory, I know it's they'll be okay, but it was just that gut punch. Yes, your heart. yes, and that's what makes it really, really hard. Yes. How did you like? How did how did you get past those moments? You know, I was not meant to be a stay-at-home mom. I really marvel at women who can do that. Yep. I was not one of Me them. Me neither. And so for me to be at home for Andrew, I was not able to play in the way that he wanted mm -hmm. me to play with him. I was able to facilitate his play, but I, it was a different relationship, and it took me a long time yeah. to feel good about that relationship. Right. And he would often say, Mom, what are you doing now? Right. And I would say, Honey, I, you know, if you want to eat, I yeah. go to work. Yeah, yeah. And so it became very clear that there wasn't a huge mm -hmm. option. But he had a lot of friends, just like I'm sure your kids have a lot of friends. I yep. know your kids are involved in all kinds of wonderful activities, and they have built up networks mm -hmm. around that, and it's just... It takes a tribe, I feel like. It does. It takes a tribe it to does. raise kids and work. It and, does. And sometimes I think... When I'm reaching out to my friend to say, hey, can you pick up my daughter or my son from school, I have to remind myself that that's not bad that I can't pick them up. Really, I'm being resourceful in managing my time yes. because picking them up doesn't mean I'm a bad mom. Oh. My time is better spent. Um, and you know what? I'll tell you, I did a lot of carpooling and shared a lot with other mothers. And what I realized is when you get the other kids in your car, mm -hmm. that's when you learn yes. what's going on. Yeah. So at the end of the day, yeah. I actually knew more about my kids' lives mm -hmm. probably than they wanted me right. to know because I shared that responsibility with someone else. You know, yeah. I'm a glasses half full, yep, not half too. empty type yep. of girl, and so are you, Lori. Mm -hmm. So I, this is painful. It's mm -hmm. hard to leave them when they say, Mom, Mm -hmm. I love you. Yeah. I want you. Why are you yeah. going to yet another conference? And yes. uh, but you know you'll be home in mm -hmm. two days, right. and they'll be there, and they will have had another adventure without yep. you, and yep. you'll be able to share that adventure. You know, I was um, listening to something early today. I don't know. I've been on two planes today, <laughs> so I don't know whether it was a movie or what it was I was thinking about, but there was a story about someone who d was very adventuresome mm -hmm. and someone who looked at, um, who wanted a conventional marriage mm -hmm. and uh, 
She just said, all I wanted was someone that was stable and secure and wouldn't go. And so she was talking to a friend, and the friend said, yeah, I have a friend just like that. She's stable, she's secure, she's married to a dentist. And you know what? Every two months, she calls me and she said, I'm bored out of my mind. Mm -hmm. So we are not bored, which makes us right. wonderful parents, right. wonderful individuals right. to raise our children and to give them a sense of what the world is like right from our perspective yeah and so what about the moments like my kids are out of school right now but mm -hmm. god knows when they're in school there's you know they have um whether it's you know a football game or a, a cheer practice or the band concert that i had to be facetime how did you get over i mean i, I assume you missed some of those right? i did i did i tried to organize my schedule yep. to get to as many as possible i don't know if you work close to your children's I do. school i do what i found is that i could organize things so i could even be class mother at times mm -hmm. because i could leave my office right. I had that flexibility, right. and I would go and I would be at the school at odd times. So right. it wasn't right. always for the event, right. but it, I was there. Yeah. And they knew I was there. And you know something, Lori? You are just full of energy, and you have the most amazing spirit and persona. And I'm sure when you walk into that yeah. room, the whole place just comes alive, yeah. and they know that. Yeah. That's helpful because sometimes I think I get wrapped around I need to be at certain events because that's what the other moms are doing. What, what I hear you saying is it might not be the certain events that are check boxes, but show up when you can and just be there and light up the room and be present. Right. And, and figure out where you have to make the hard decisions. Yeah. You know, at the end of the day, your children are first. At the end, yep. you know, there's nothing. They are, from the time they... Uh, <laughs> Come, <laughs> come, come, come into us, um, and they are our responsibility. Yep. They're our first responsibility, and we love them. But not being at a game or at a cheer meet or whatever—that's not going to kill things. But to figure out what's most important yeah. is really. I think what counts. Yeah. And I know you do that because yep. recently yep. Um, you weren't able to come to an mm -hmm. event that uh, both Steve and I were yep. at and we missed you terribly. Yep. But we understood. Yep. We understood and you needed to do that and it was the right Honestly, thing to do. Honestly, that was so hard for me too. <laughs> but it was the right thing to do. You made the right decision. Yeah. You know, we'll all still be here. Right. Yeah. And so if you could rewind because obviously Andrew, you know, is 25. Is, yeah, and yeah. He's, you know, he's in senior housing as well, but yeah. looking back, um, if he were to be sitting here today, what do you think he would say to everybody for, keep going at it, mom, I'm glad you did this because it taught me that. What would he, what would he say? That's a, I would love for him to be sitting right? here. You know, one of the best things that's happened is Andrew and I are close. We were not symbiotic, but close to that yeah. for a long period of time. And, you know, I, I know him well, mm -hmm. probably better than he wants me to know him. He has his strengths, and they are marvelous strengths, and he has some weaknesses, just yeah. like we all yeah. do. Um, and so and that was always the mom-kid mm -hmm. dynamic. Andrew, once he graduated college, which was a feat in and of itself, <laughs> take that out, Steve. <laughs> um, he entered senior living, and all of a sudden we had this other relationship yeah. where it was now just not mom and kid, but two adults, sort of adults, um, I'm not sure who was the sort of adult, <laughs> me or him, um, who were able to talk about things outside of the mom-kid relationship. Mm -hmm. And that has been so amazing. Right. For the first time, he sees me as a professional person. Yeah. Not it, just It all kind of came full circle for it him, did. right? It did. It did. And he's really proud. Mm -hmm. um, he is very and proud And I'm you. very proud of him. And it's just opened up a new type of relationship mm -hmm. for us. So while it would have never been anything I would have thought he would do. Once he did, it's just been the best.
guest. It's been great fun. Yeah. So I can't it's, wait to see what he yeah. does because it's going to be different from what I do. Right. Makes it all makes that mom guilt worth it. Yeah. 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 You know, and the guilt goes away. Yeah. Guilt goes away. Uh, and uh, God, tell me how how much longer do I have to live with it? <laughs> well, let me tell you. There's a period where you don't want to be around. Yeah. Those high school years yeah, those were are coming. very, very, very difficult for us. Mm -hmm. And particularly by the time he was a junior and senior, even though there were parts that were wonderful, he was the captain of the crew team, he could do things, he chose not to sometimes. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, even after he got into college, the letter came that says, Andrew Katzman, you are not doing what you should be doing to keep this offer of admission open. And he said, oh, mom, they'll never do anything. And they didn't. But he had to... You had a different kind of guilt, he, stress, uh, right? I wanted that to be, I wanted him to be on his own at that mm -hmm. point. So there comes a point, and your kids aren't quite there, no. but they're almost yes. there, where it's like, okay, the fact that I'm not here is good because you need to be independent. Yeah. You need to figure out how you're going to survive in, in this world of ours. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. It's That's helpful. Cool. Every time I talk to you, I end up, I'm, my guilt's up to here, and then it just kind of soothes, soothes on down. Well, so you I always look forward to seeing you. you. Are the next generation of women, women leaders, leader. Oh, thank women you. Women leaders, woman leader <laughs> in our industry. And you've got the passion, you've got the drive, you've got the know how. And I'm just super excited to see what you do next. Oh, because you're awesome. Well, I've been lucky to have good mentors mm -hmm. like you.